Is there other paid time off, do you know? Like if there's separate, like sick leave? Uh, the sick leave, I don't know. That's a good question. I should probably ask them on that one. But um, they're, they, the federal holidays are paid for. And then I think they said once a year for like an entire week, they do maintenance in the building. So that entire week, I'm off. Oh, but you still get paid? Yeah. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, what's your official like position at this job? What's it called? Analytical chemist. Okay. Oh, you said that and I already forgot cause I'm like chemistry yeah. it scares me. Um, yeah. so what kinds of stuff you like, you're going to be preparing. Tell me again what you're going to do. We're doing a lot of method development and, um, validity tests for different, uh, big clients like Pfizer, Johnson, Johnson, they would come to us and we would validate the different things that I guess drugs, I'm not entirely sure. And then we also make the raw materials for the products that they want. Wow. Okay. Um, so you said you enjoy the lab setting and it sounds like that's where you're going to be in a lab, right? Yep. Okay. Um, so it's like a hands-on, it's not like data crunching or office stuff. No, we got it's definitely hands-on. Um, and, uh, so you've graduated and gotten this job. Do you have any plans, um, or have you thought about, uh, further education for yourself? Um, I have thought about it. Um, I don't know how I feel about it right now. Um, I was considering law. Um, I minored in philosophy and I love to read and write. So I was considering law. Um, it's still in the back of my mind, but within the next year or two, I don't see it in my cards. Okay. Um, if someone came to you right now and were like, I've got a full ride for, uh, law school, you can start tomorrow. Would you take it then, or would you still want uh, to, yeah, like... 100%. Did you say 100%? Yeah. Okay. For sure. Okay. So if finances weren't a thing, you might go back to school right now. Totally. Yeah. Um, is that... So when you think about more education, is your primary reason for for not wanting to go right now... Is it financial, or is it, like, truly you're not sure if you'll yeah. ever need that? It's 100% financial. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I do. I love school. I love learning. Um, the time isn't really like a factor for me. It's not like, oh, it's three years or th no, it's 100% financial. Okay. Um, okay. Do you know if the company that you're going to be working for has any type of tuition assistance programs for people who want to pursue more education? No, I don't think they do. Okay. Um, uh, okay. And how do student loans specifically factor into your thoughts about graduate school or law school for yourself? What was the question? How do, how do student loans in particular, like, factor into your thoughts about graduate school? Um, just like... I don't want to be taking hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. Okay. Um, and just how saturated the field is, I think it's a combination of not having job security along with having insurmountable amounts of debt over my head. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> so, so have your um, thoughts about what comes next after graduation, um, this job, or school like has that been affected by the pandemic at all no i wouldn't say it has okay um okay so let's talk we're going to talk about your living situation um and your expenses so who do you live with right now i live at home with my family so mom dad and brother okay um and your brother you said he's 22 right yes okay um, and do you guys, do your parents own the home? Do you guys rent somewhere? What's the, um, situation? My parents own the home. Okay. Um, have you had any disagreements with people you live with during the pandemic, 
about everyone practicing pandemic precautions. So like wearing a mask, staying in, um, have there been any tensions or disagreements in the household? No. Um, if there's any disagreement, it's, um, them on me. Like maybe you shouldn't be going out so much. Uh, maybe you should cut back. Uh, then I would just comply. Like, yeah, you guys are right. Mm, okay. Um, so has that, that's happened? You've, been wanting to go out more than your family is like comfortable with yeah just like once um and it was to see other relatives that live like 20 minutes away they're Mm -hmm. like well we're not sure what they're doing over there so just stay home Mm -hmm. okay yeah um and has your living situation changed at all because of the pandemic has anyone moved in or out of the household no okay um Okay. So let's talk about your expenses. So we're going to go over your budget and we are looking for dollar estimates, like as close as, you know, you can get. Um, so why don't you tell me first, like you can start, like, what are the bills that you're currently responsible for? If any, so I'm currently not responsible for any bills, um, because I don't have a job and I stopped working beginning of this year so end of january is when i stopped working okay um okay and do you pay any like rent to your parents for living there no okay. i don't pay any rent okay um do they do you have um food costs or do your parents help you out with that as well no, I don't have any food costs. Okay. They do groceries for all of us, like, once a week. Okay. And, like, how much do you think that costs? Um, probably, like, 200 Okay. Um, and how about transportation? Do you have a car? Do you use public transit? So, my brother has a car, and I use his car at this time. Okay. Um, and are you responsible for gas money or any insurance costs on that? So when I was working, I was responsible for gas and insurance, but because I'm not working and I don't really go anywhere besides my yoga classes, I'm not responsible for gas or insurance. Okay. Um, does your brother pay the gas and insurance then, or do your parents cover he that? Does. He does. He okay. pays the gas and insurance. Okay. Um, and once your job starts, are you going to have to use his car again? Yeah, so I would take full ownership of the car. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, is the car paid off or is there a car, you know? There's a, yeah, there's a car payment. So because my schedule would conflict with his, he's just going to take a break. And he's happy to do that. He's like, I can't wait. But um, so then I would take the car payments and the insurance costs and all that. Okay, so do you know how much that is going to be? So the car payments I know are 250 around that ballpark. Um, and the insurance, I think, is 150 Okay. Okay. It would be 150 for both. No. Yeah, both of us combined would be 150 Okay. Um, so you'll keep him insured on the car even though you're going to take over the payment? Yeah. Okay. Um, since he's doing that for you right now. Makes yeah. sense. Okay. Um, and then, I don't know, do you want to, can you estimate how much you might be spending on gas once you kind of get back into like working and driving? Um, probably like now with gas prices, maybe like 50 a week. Okay. Uh, what's your commute like for work? So it's 40 minutes to get there and it's 50 to get back with traffic. Okay. Um, and, uh, cell phone do, are you on a family plan that someone else covers or does someone pay for your phone? Yeah, I'm on a family plan. Okay. Um, my dad covers, but I paid for my phone in full. So okay. it's just the service. Um, okay. When you paid for your phone in full, like, when was that? That was, oh, I think, I think November of 2020. Okay. 
Um, so a couple months before you stopped working, um, yeah.